Sri Ramana Maharishi's Deathless Experience The turning point in Venkatraman's life came suddenly in mid-July 1896. One afternoon, the young man, for no apparent reason, was overwhelmed by a sudden violent fear of death. Years later, he narrated this experience as follows. It was about six weeks before I left Madurai. For good, that a great change in my life took place. It was quite sudden. I was sitting in a room on the first floor of my uncle's house. I seldom had any sickness and on that day there was nothing wrong with my health but a sudden violent fear of death overtook me. There was nothing in my state of health to account for it and I did not try to account for it or to find out whether there was any reason for the fear. I just felt I am going to die and began thinking what to do about it. It did not occur to me to consult a doctor or my elders or friends. I felt that I had to solve the problem myself then and there. The shock of the fear of death drove my mind inwards and I said to myself mentally without actually framing the words Now death has come. What does it mean? What is it that is dying? This body dies. And I at once dramatized the occurrence of death. I lay with my limbs stretched out, stiff, as though rigor mortis had set in, and imitated a corpse so as to give greater reality to the inquiry. I held my breath and kept my lips tightly closed so that no sound could escape, so that neither the word I nor any other word could be uttered. Well then, I said to myself, this body is dead. It will be carried stiff to the burning ground and there burnt and reduced to ashes. But with the death of this body, am I dead? Is the body I? It is silent and inert. But I feel the full force of my personality and even the voice of the I within me apart from it. So I am spirit transcending the body. The body dies, but the spirit that transcends it cannot be touched by death. This means I am the deathless spirit. All this was not dull thought. It flashed through me vividly as living truth, which I perceived directly, almost without thought process. I was something very real, the only real thing about my present state. And all the conscious activity connected with my body was centered on that I. From that moment onwards, The I, or self, focused attention on itself by a powerful fascination. Fear of death had vanished once and for all. Absorption in the self continued unbroken from that time on. Other thoughts might come and go, like the various notes of music, but the I continued like the fundamental Sruti note. 
that underlies and blends with all the other notes. Whether the body was engaged in talking, reading, or anything else, I was still centered on I. Previous to that crisis, I had no clear perception of myself and was not consciously attracted to it. I felt no perceptible or direct interest in it, much less any inclination to dwell permanently in it. So narrated Sri Ramana about his deathless experience. The effect of the death experience brought about a complete change in Venkatraman's interests and outlook. He became meek and submissive without complaining or retaliating against unfair treatment. He later described his condition. One of the features of my new state was my changed attitude to the Meenakshi temple. Before, I used to go there occasionally with friends to look at the images and put the sacred ash and vermilion on my forehead and would return home almost unmoved. But after the awakening, I went there almost every evening. I used to go alone and stand motionless for a long time before an image of Shiva or Meenakshi or Nataraja and the 63 saints. And as I stood there, waves of emotion overwhelmed me.